Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnies and welcome back to Simply Niqua. Today I have the second installment of the sewing the shirt from the Walmart sewing pattern today. So if you're ready to see the final product, go ahead, sit back and relax and continue watching. But before you do, make sure to go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And go down below and give me a like as well anytime throughout the video. But other than that, let's get started with this video. To begin making this lovely shirt that I have on, and I'm so excited to show you at the end, first you want to start with applying interfacing to the front placket. I usually get the iron on interfacing so it's so much easier to apply onto the different fabric pieces. instructions is said to fold it the edges of the placket the front placket piece about three eighths inch on both sides and then once you have that done and pressed you want to put that in the middle of that front piece you want to sew a right on the edge of that placket <laughs> grab both of the back pieces and sew the center back seam together. Then I say about two inches at the top there's gonna be a little opening where you can um, close the shirt and all that with a hook and eye so that you have to fold over and then sew that so it's a nice clean edge. <laughs> As the front end of the back two pieces, you want to gather the top section. Once you have gathered the front section and the back section of the shirt, then you want to apply interfacing on the front band and the back band of the shirt. And then sew that band onto the shirt. Once you have that stitch, you want to sew the front and back side seams together. Mamacita, vámonos de fiesta. Y ahora en mi corazón tú estás. Y ya no quiero a nadie más. Now we're going to jump over to the sleeves. First you want to sew the sleeve casing lengthwise or hot dog style and sew that edge. Then you want to apply that sleeve casing on top of the sleeve. Once that is sewn onto the sleeve, on that sleeve casing, you see how it's kind of ruffled right here? So we're going to make those ruffles. So every half inch on that sleeve casing, um, there should be three little sections, half inch sections on that sleeve casing. Once you have that, there's also, it came in with the pattern pieces, there was this um, shoulder elastic guide that came with it. And then you um, cut the, the length of the elastic that you need compared to what size you need. And then with a clothing pin at the end of elastic, and then you want to shove it through each of the sections on top of the ca sleeve casing that we made. And you want to make sure to do all of them all at the same time, it's a little bit easier. And then once you have that gathered, make sure to sew on both of those um, ends. Once you have that long process over, you want to sew the seams of the sleeve and then also hem it at this time as well. Once you're done with that, now you're ready to apply the sleeves onto the shirt. And then at the top of the front 
band and the back band is still sticking up you need to flip that over and sew it onto the sleeve section to make sure it has that nice finished edge for those front and back bands since you stitch and flipped over the back bands um, you want to have to top stitch the front and back bands onto the shirt so it's not like lifting up next you need to do the straps of the shirt so you want to apply interfacing on these strap pieces of the fabric and then fold it lengthwise and stitch those sides together then you want to flip it inside out and then sew it right onto the shirt at this moment you can also hem the shirt right now and go ahead and do that but the last little thing we have to do is to do this lovely bow then I was a lot of hand sewing with doing the bow and then hand sewing the hook and eyes onto the shirt and then um, hand sewing all of the buttons that I applied onto the shirt as well then the shirt was done I'm so excited to show you what the shirt finally looks like so here is what the shirt looks like I am loving it I really like how the buttons really pop out I wish I to have some more contrasting fabric with different spots with having like a piece of black fabric or something to match the buttons but I'm glad I got black buttons and just white ones but I really really love this shirt and it's not really bad I wish the sleeves were a little shorter which I can take them up but right now just for this video I didn't and yeah I think this is really cool I really love this kind of crop top gathered looking shirt and I really love it and I hope you loved it too so other than that guys I hope you really really loved going through this whole process with me and I hope it inspired you to get a sewing pattern yourself it's always fun to make your own clothing and to see the finished product at the end so thank you so much for watching I really hope you like this video if you did go down below and like this video and if you're not already go ahead and subscribe I'm trying to do some more sewing techniques and sewing things on this channel as well if you really like that but other than that thank you so much for watching Bye.